Nashville, Tennessee, Bill Stewart, who three days cash winnings total seventy thousand five hundred one dollars. And now here is the host of Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Our champion, Will Stewart, has spent the week with us as Jeopardy champion, and he's back today hoping to become just our third player of the season to win four games. The only thing standing in his way right now is two opponents, Kathy and Grant. Best of luck to all three of you. Let's go to work in the Jeopardy round. Here are your categories. We begin with some union men and sports women, followed by TJ Maxx, facts about foursomes, foodie book titles, and finally, antonymic Perry's. Each response is a pair of antonyms from a particular Katy Perry song. Will, start us off. TJ Maxx for 600. This former baseball player lent his name and initials to a type of surgery. Will, who's Tommy John? Yes. Uh, TJ Maxx 800. It's rah 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 for TJ, short for this track and field event that Pedro Pichardo took gold in at the 2020 Olympics. Will, what is the triple jump? That's it. Uh, union in for 800. The answer there. Is there another one around? You can wager any or all of your 1400, Will. I will wager 1400. All of it on the line in Union Men. After a march from Atlanta to the sea, General Sherman gave Lincoln a nice Christmas gift. This city and 150 cannons and 25,000 bales of cotton. What is Savannah? You did march to Savannah, yes. You double up to 2800. Yes. Anthony Perry's for 400. Like puffin plumage. Grant. What's? No. Didn't have it, Will. What is black and white? You got both there, yes. That's about foursomes for a thousand. Durandal is a legendary one of these. They're also one of the four suits in tarot. Grant, what's a sword? Is a sword. Four sons eight. The ancient Greeks believed the four of these, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, affect health and mood. Grant, what are temperaments? No. Will, what are humors? Humors, right. Uh, Anthony carries for 800. This basketball violation is technically a case of traveling. That would be a call of up and down. Will, Anthony carries for 1,000. A plastic collar stiffener in an ancient Asia board game. Grant, what's stop and go? Sorry, no. Kathy, what is stay and leave? Also incorrect. Will's gonna try it? What is stay and go? Yes, you were each right once. Stay and go is it? Um, you mean in for 1,000. He couldn't get it done as a general for Lincoln, but New Jersey drafted him to be governor in 1878. Kathy. Who is McClellan? Was McClellan. Sports women for 600. Led by top order batter Meg Lanning in 2022, Australia has won seven women's ODI World Cup titles in this sport, the most of any nation. Grant, what's cricket? That's it. Sports women eight. In London in 2019, Fallon Sherrick became the first woman to beat a man at the PDC World Championship of this game. Grant, what starts? Right again. Sports women one. This LSU gymnast claims the title of most followed NCAA athlete on social media, with 7.9 million acolytes on TikTok. Well, who is Libby? Can you give me more? Who's Libby Dunn? Libby Dunn is right. You got a thousand. Um, TJ Maxx for a thousand. Nicknames for him include the Pen of the Revolution and the Apostle of Democracy. Grant, what's Thomas Jefferson? That's the TJ. Who do you Title One? A grasshopper, earthworm, and centipede appear in this book by Roald Dahl. Kathy, what is the cricket on the heart? Sorry, no. Grant, what's James and the Giant Peach? That's the right book. Who do you Title Eight? To help those dealing with change, in a 1998 title, Spencer Johnson asked, "Who did this?" Kathy, what is who moved my cheese? You are correct. Yes, I get you up to negative 200, almost out of the hall, and we'll do that for you when we come back. The rest of the Jeopardy round continues in just a moment. <laughs> Randy Young is a grocery clerk from Prescott, Arizona. Grant, here in the 21st century, we, as you know, we text our players to let them know they're going to be on Jeopardy, but that turned into quite a story for you. Tell us what happened. Got off work, got in the, the car, and pulled my phone out, and it was sinking in. I'm on the verge of tears there, staring down at it, and uh, I got hit and ran. A car hit you? Yeah. While you were getting the text, as I was, and I, I didn't even notice because I was so, you know, engrossed in the. Getting the, getting the text, um, I, I had people come up to me after, are you aware that you just got your car hit? And I'm like, no, you know, holding my phone and staring at a, a message. What a roller coaster. I guess, are, are you in the car okay? Oh yeah, uh, well, car party somewhere, but I'm, I'm certainly fine, thank you. Kathy Olson is a journalism professor from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Tell us about your journey to the Alex Trebek stage, Kathy. No, no car accidents, I hope. No, but I first tried out in the midst of time right after college. Um, wow. And uh, back then you had to send in a postcard just to even be picked to take the test. Uh, so I bought a whole bunch of, of postcards and went to different mailboxes and tried to feed the mail mailbag with, uh, with the postcard. And it worked. Um, I got the tryout, but uh, didn't get on uh, until now. So anybody who is discouraged after 38 years, it can still happen. <laughs> you hacked Jeopardy back in the 80s, and it took 38 years, but it worked. Yeah, that's a wonderful story. Congratulations. Will Stewart is back with us, our political organizer originally from Nashville. Now you've, at this point, won over $70,000, Will. Congratulations. Thanks. What do you want to do with that much money? If I got some more, I don't know if this is enough uh, for what I have in mind, but friends and I talked for a long time about how cool it would be to have like a bespoke treasure hunt made for us to do like take a month and have someone ahead of time this is in my head we're like out west which is so here i guess um, but uh like lake clues and certain right. towns and we have to solve riddles and stuff to advance to each stage where i guess at the end it would just be my jeopardy winning data treasure chest but <laughs> yeah, let me get this right you already want a real treasure with us yeah and you want to spend it to do a, to win a, some kind of treasure the treasure is the journey the treasure <laughs> is the journey well said well right now kathy's got control of the board let's get back into the round go ahead and make a choice for us kathy uh, category and dollar amounts. sports winning for 400 with good boxing genes she retired from pro boxing in 2007 with an undefeated record of 24 and 0. grant what's ali uh Wait, you, yeah we is right uh, union men six Union Major General Lou Wallace is best known for writing this 1880 novel with a chariot race. Captain, what is Ben Hur? That's it. Facts about foursome 600. This fearsome group shows up at the opening of the Seven Seals in the Book of Revelation. Grant. Uh, what are the four horsemen? Uh, yeah, the Apocalypse. That's it. Uh, Football Title Six. Bearing this title dish, the Whistle Stop Cafe opened. If she says not to worry about getting poisoned, she is not cooking. Captain, what are fried green tomatoes? Correct. Uh, TJ Maxx 400. Every year, you can go to the website for this grocery chain and vote for your favorite TJ's products. Well, what is Trader Joe's? Correct. Anthony McCarrie for 600. They're the opposites seen in one-letter form on the Kohler Castia collection. Kathy, what are hot and cold? Correct, and that's the name of the Katy Perry song in question. Union Man 400. He survived heavy fire at Antietam in the 23rd Ohio Volunteer Infantry, but not a bullet from an assassin 39 years later. Grant. What's Arthur? Sorry, no. Kathy, who's Arthur? Also incorrect. Will? Who's McKinley? It was McKinley, yes. Um, Anthony Perry for 200. The focus of ethics. Grant. What's right and wrong? Yes. Facts about horses four. One of the four main sections of a modern orchestra, it includes the French horns and trombones. Will. What is brass? Good. TJ Max for 200. This Baja city serves as California's main gateway to Mexico. Grant. Uh, what's Tijuana? Right, you are. Who do you vote for? In 1934, James Hilton said hello and goodbye, this teacher. Kathy. Who is Mr. Chip? Right. Uh, sports women 200. Asia Wilson, her dad loved Steely Dan, was the 2023 finals MVP for this Las Vegas WNBA team
Kathy plays Gangrick, that's the right battle. Facts about four seven two hundred. Considered one of the original four cabinet positions, it was first held by Alexander Hamilton. Will, what is Secretary of the Treasury? That's right. Final clue is booty book tiles? Not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a box. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere in this kid's story. Will, what is Queen X and Ham? You're correct. You have the lead as we reach the end of the Jeopardy round. Kathy will select first when we return with double Jeopardy. Double five, double six. We come now to double Jeopardy. Two daily doubles on the board this time. They are somewhere in these categories. Could it be 2020's politics or trees? We have in the period film, the runaways, once Yugoslavia. And finally, the next word in the dictionary after, specifically in Webster's third new international dictionary. If you're curious, Kathy, where do we begin? Uh, in the period film, 800. This funny guy directed, wrote, and starred as a 1930s nightclub owner named Quick in 1989's Harlem Nights. Kathy, who is Eddie Murphy? Correct. In the period film for 1200. In Atonement, set partly during World War II, she plays Cecilia Tallis. She's also been to the 1790s as so Elizabeth Bennett. Kathy, who is Kira Knightley? Correct again. Uh, in the period film, 1600. In 1996, Liam Neeson played this Irish freedom fighter who was killed in an ambush in 1922. Kathy, who is Michael Collins? Yes. Uh, in the period film, 2000. In 2020, this actor played a dupe over on Netflix, and in the period movie Sylvie's Love, he played a jazz cat named Chico. Who is Ricky John Page? Back to you, Kathy. Next word in the dictionary after for 1200. Legumium. <laughs> this type of edible veggie. Grant, what's legume? Right. Uh, dictionary 16. Rawalfia, a somewhat poisonous tree. This word meaning to pillage or plunder. Grant, what's ransack? No, sorry, no. Kathy, what is ravage? That's the right word. Uh, in the next word in the dictionary after 2000. Folsomoid, resembling a fulsome spear point. This to incite a revolution. Well, what is foment? You're right. Once Yugoslavia for 2000. Seen here is the imperial mosque in Pristina, the capital of this country. Well, what is Kosovo? That's the right country. Once Yugoslavia for 1600. Italy borders six countries, including this former Yugoslav Republic. Grant, what's Slovenia? Yes. Uh, once Yugoslavia 12. A type of traditional door knocker is a symbol of this capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Well, what is Sarajevo? That's it. Trees for 16. Carvings on headstones of this tree with drooping branches not only symbolize mourning, but also rebirth. Grant, what's willow? Need to be more specific? Uh, weeping? That's it. Trees too. Providing shade, shelter, and some food, here's this iconic tree of sunset on the Serengeti. Well, what is Baobab? Sorry, no. Kathy, was it banyan? Also incorrect. Grant's good. What is an acacia tree? Grant, you select. Trees 12. That's not spray paint, that's the actual color of the bark that gives the eucalyptus this name. Grant, what's the rainbow tree? That's right, a rainbow gum. Uh, runaway sloth? Runaway slave Henry Brown adopted this middle name for what he made it to freedom in. Kathy, what is a crate? Sorry, no. Will Grant? You were close, Kathy. He called himself Henry Box Brown after mailing himself to freedom. Back to you, Grant. Runaway 16. Answer there. <laughs> You're in second place, Grant, but that could change here. 5,000, please. All right, that would put you in the lead if you're correct in the runaways. Runaway production, shows shot outside LA, is big in this foreign city. On suits, it played New York City, less than a two-hour flight away. What? Uh, Toronto? Toronto is right, yes. You are now in the lead. 2020 politics, love. Memphis elects its mayor in one round, without this secondary vote for the top two. The 2023 winner got 28% among 17 candidates. Will, what is a runoff? Yeah, the runoff. Um, trees for 800. The raffia, a tropical type of this tree, has leaves that can grow up to 70 feet long. Grant, what's a palm? Yes, 2020 politics, 16. Answer, no, 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 You found them both in short order, Grant. 4,000, please. Okay, here's your clue in 2020's politics. Played the center of attention in 2022. In the 60s, this senator played QB for West Virginia and assistant coach Bobby Bowden. What? Oh, sorry. Joe Manchin of West Virginia would have been correct. You are back in second place. 2020's politics, too. Members of this conservative caucus formed in 2015 were instrumental in ending Kevin McCarthy's speakership. Kathy, what is the Freedom Caucus? Right. Runaway's 2000. This Japanese author's 2002 novel, Kafka on the Shore, isn't about a European author, but teenage runaway Kafka Tamura. Grant, what's Murakami? Haruki Murakami is right for 2000. Runaway's 8. An early escape by him was running away from his impoverished rabbinical family home in Milwaukee at age 12. Kathy, who is Yes. Next word in the dictionary after for 800. By Delight, a constituent of some plays. This color. Grant, what's beige? You got it. Yugoslavia 8. Dubrovnik is in this region of Croatia that also ends in Asia and gave its name to a dog breed. Grant, what's Dalmatia? Yes, 2020 politics 8. In June 2023, the president began talking about this 10 letter word for his program of investing in America and empowering workers. Grant, what's infrastructure? Sorry, no. Will Kathy? It's Bidenomics with less than a minute, Grant. Uh, next word in the dictionary 4. Amodiaquin, an antimalarial. This chromosome. Grant, what's amoeba? That's right, once Yugoslavia 4. Belgrade sits on the confluence of the Sava and this second longest European river. Grant, what's. Um, the Danube? It is. Runway 4. Some people really have runaway enjoined this. Future elephant trainer Ted Starteski did at just 13. Will, what is the circus? Yes, trees for four. A gift from Japan, the first shipment of these trees to Washington, D.C. in 1910 had to be destroyed due to an infestation. Will, what are cherry blossoms? Right again, tying it up. Period film for four. It's the role Nicole Kidman played in Dean the Ricardos. Grant, what's, um, Lucy? Uh, okay. yes, we'll take that. Lucy Ball. You're in the lead, and we do not have time for the final clue, so you have a $400 lead going into final jeopardy. Where you three face this category today. 19th century literary characters. The clue to decide this game is coming up right after this. We have a close game, and 19th century literary characters is the final jeopardy category. Here's the clue. John Elwes, a millionaire member of parliament who would go to bed before dusk to save on candles, inspired this character. 30 seconds, good luck. <laughs> Kathy Olsen in the middle has 6,600 coming in the final. Her response? Who is Scrooge? Of course, the most famous miser in literature. That is right. You're going to add... Almost all of it back, 13,199. Will Stewart in second place today with 12,800. Did he come up with Scrooge? He's right, he bet. Small from second place, smart move. It gives him 13,200 won a $1 lead right now over Grant Young. But did Grant Young remember Scrooge? He's right, did he bet anything? He bet big, 12,401. And with 25,601, Grant, we have a new Jeffrey Champion. We'll be back tomorrow, and I hope you join us as well. Come on.